Well, a disappointing day for some people in Corvallis. The Da Vinci Days Festival has been canceled for next summer. It will be back. As KEZI 9 News reporter Rhoda Krause explains, the board is hoping that a year off will spark a creative new identity for the festival. It celebrated its 25th year this summer, but Da Vinci Day says the sales just aren't cutting it. Well, at first it was a combination of disappointment and uh, curiosity. You know, what, wonder why. I mean, they wouldn't cancel unless there was a good reason. The Da Vinci Day's board of directors broke the news last night to the Corvallis City Council. Well, keeping it the same isn't working. What we want to do is ask folks what will be great for the next 25 years. The board says the festival's revenue comes from admission, sponsorships, and concessions. And, and over the years, uh, those contributions uh, from uh, major stakeholders, uh, local government and some businesses, have substantially declined. So instead of completely calling it quits, board members ask themselves one question. Imagine what would Leonardo da Vinci do and he would say reinvent, uh, discover what's new for the future. The board will name an assessment committee to host forums over the next four to six months, asking the public what they want to see in the festival. So we want the community to say, this is what I value, this is what I will support. And festival goers say they hope the year off will help create a positive change. Kind of a nice flavor of, oh, there's a lot going on in Corvallis, and I, I do hope it comes back. We think Corvallis and Oregon State together are one of the most, if not the most innovative community in the nation. So we think Da Vinci Days can showcase that. The board says if you want to be part of the assessment committee, to contact them at davincidays.com. Organizers say they hope Da Vinci Days will be up and running again in 2015. In Corvallis, Rhoda Krause, KEZI 9 News.